Right, your choice. You know, uh, so remember, if you want the version that I'll has... Go if you want the enhanced oh. version, you right-click. I don't know if you want the enhanced yeah, version. Yeah, I think I'll switch over for that. I will go second. Okay. Uh, and then I will go first. For those wondering what the heck I was just talking about, um, Red Horizon Remastered is live. Uh, this is not a mechanical change to anything. This is just a visual change. I've updated the visuals on the Red Horizon cast so that they have colorized stats and improved templating so that you can read effects and kind of know what they're saying. Because a lot of Red Horizon has stuff that's worded in ways that we just never worded things later. So if you're a modern XSeed player picking up the game and you look back at Season 1, Red Horizon, you go, what does this mean? Uh, and it's weird. There's also a couple of typos um, that I fixed while I was at it. But yeah, basically just standardizing things according to spawn and templating. No mechanical changes. Uh, but yeah. The Red Rising cast is that way, so if you right-click them, you'll get the alternate version instead of the as printed version. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, and then standard disclaimer as before. Um, these characters... Uh, cards may not re necessarily re reflect the final printed values. Uh... Hold on a second. Let me mulligan first, then think about what I'm saying. There we go. Cards may not necessarily reflect the final printed products, but I meant to say. Uh, mechanically, they are identical as far as I can tell, at least, um, because I've made a point of checking to what will be in your hands if you order the set. But I've made some improvements, enhancements, and additions for TTS specifically uh, for an optimal play experience, or because I thought it was funny, which, you know, I count as in within the optimal play experience thing. I think that was it. That's usually what I say, right? Uh, sounds about right to me. Close enough. Alright. I'm old four. Good luck and have fun. I'm old zero. Good luck, have fun. Yikes. Um, that worries me. I mean, my cards are best used as force. This is true. <laughs> so, why mulligan? <laughs> well, you have some boosts. You definitely have some boosts. Yeah. I do have some boosts. Alright, I'll prepare. I'm highly suspicious of this Vincent. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I need some guard. Ah, that's much cheaper than the other way. Uh, yes, Noelle is one of my favorites. She's at least in my top 16. Uh, pardon me. I say that, she, she really is on like the short list for characters that I might sub-main after Taker. Alright, so I am going to, uh, when I set my attack, I am going to spend a uh, Gatlin Punch as Force for Guard. I'm going to play National Guard. And I'm going to sit here and do nothing. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Back to you. Vincent working as intended. <laughs> yep. My opponent blocked? Ah, well, it would be rude to punish. I'll just <laughs> wait over here. <laughs> All right. Take two. Fair enough. Uh, Fierce. Okay. Uh, light. Ish. You also closed me, yeah. Uh, tech rushdown. I'm the rushdown here. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going to play uh, reading. That's parry. I'm going to play reading. There you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Se season one cards are sometimes a little hard yeah, for me. Yeah, uh, you're not. I I'm, I'm going to play reading. I am going to name Spike. I'm putting this down. I'm not spending anything on uh, force or any card. Wait a second. Wait a second. 
Okay, that can't be Spike. So I will set this one Spike with no intimation. I might have a different number of cards. Uh, I take four. I'm not stunned, but I miss. Uh, he doesn't care about his horror. Okay, your advantage. I'm gonna prepare. Defend? Oh, look at that, I had another one. Weird. I don't think I want you to have that, actually. Oh, well, fair enough, I guess. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, you can ha you can have speed. That I mean, fair. <laughs> you are Vincent, after all. I yeah. I kind of, I kind of assume that already. <laughs> um, Kuba says it's considered bad manners to later reading block in the match when your opponent accidentally tips the block. I don't think it's considered bad manners. I am in the habit of not doing that, but that's because I have often taught people the game. So I'm used to like playing with an open hand slash not like I'm used to playing with that information that I shouldn't have. That's just me. I think most people treat that as a like as a hand tip where you know the information. Um, yeah, if, if you reading block on me, it's my own fault. <laughs> right. Like mo most people uh, play that way. I I don't, but that's just really a habit on my part. Like, I don't think it's a courtesy thing. <laughs> I just, I, uh, I'm not super concerned at range one if you're reading block compared to at other ranges, so. Mm hmm makes sense. And I did drop both copies of Spike, so. Oh, uh, none of these are what I want, actually. Ah, you must be looking at Vincent's cards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a decided lack of normals in my hand, so I don't like my hand. I'm I going mean, to prepare. Works, right? <laughs> yep. All right. Um, I will overpower and strike. So plus one power and strike. Okay. I am going to spend uh, two force here for four guard, mm -hmm. and I am going to Gatlin punch. Uh oh. Um, do you have enough force to stun me? Uh, so you do. Yeah, fun. You fun. Yeah. Uh, I just think of how I want to do this appropriately. You need to spend five for the stun. <sighs> five. Unfortunately, yes. All right. That's well, my hand. There you go. Uh, I take seven. I mean, I would say that was worth it. I do like keeping my belt fixing if I can, but mm -hmm. yeah. All right, over to you. I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna strike. Mm, it's getting late. Uh, excuse me. I need to drip our faucets because the weather's cold. Be right back. Sure. Sweet. Fuck. It's probably something fast then. Oh, we have one grass down too, actually. Sorry about that. I'm back. All right. Well, I am going to wild swing. Okay. Oh. oh. Ouch. Well, you take one. I take four. Uh, 
Well, one play this game went the way I wanted. You sure? Striking. Can't let me hear about fixing. Nope, that was uh, still good though. Boosting. Plus B? Yeah, okay. I will strike and I will spend uh, one force to boost my guard by two. Do I think this is the other Phoenix Descent? It'd be very silly, but very funny. Um. I'll take my chances. Speed 7. Oh, I'm not going to break that. Alright, so you spin your gauge. I do hit, which is nice. Uh, and then I take... How much five, power are you doing? Uh, n not more than 7. Or not more than 6, okay. rather. Uh, gotcha. And then I take 5. And you gain uh, 4 life, so you're at 29. Alright then. Well, let's see if Noel can do Noel things. Time to exceed. Well, I have a uh, one turn. Mm -hmm. Change cards three. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, overdrive, retreat, strike. Hmm. Probably still something quite fast. Sweeping. Beats that. I push three and gain advantage. Take four. Alright. Overdrive. Close one. Wild swing. I'll do it again. I will <laughs> close one and miss. And lose a card. <clears throat> oh, good. Alas. Alright, here's. Excuse me. Overdrive. Close one. Wild swing. Okay, so I have the good decision, and I have the uh, Vincent decision, and I have to do the Vincent decision. Um, I am spending three. So uh, I I'm spending three. My sweet mm -hmm. National Guard and Crimson Barrage on force for six card. Mm -hmm. I'm playing Majority Whip. Uh, well, that was the decision. You take four and you're not stunned. I get pushed across the map and killed. Good game. Good game. Nice. Uh, that's funny. I love Vincent so much. <laughs> He's great. I've become very fond of him. It's, it's his, uh... Presidential smile, I think. 